Hello everyone, this is Mark with MHTAlerts.com bringing you your global earthquake update for today, March the 9th, 2012. Taking a look at a lot of earthquake activity around the Ring of Fire. This is just within the past three days of the earthquakes above a 4.5. Nothing too substantial above a 6, mainly just the one that we just had today, which was the 6.7 in Vanuatu, which was dropped down by the USGS to a 6.7 from a 7.1. And originally it was 7.1 with a depth of about 22 um, miles or 22 kilometers. So taking a look at uh, the, the area where we're watching real close, specifically around Indonesia, the Coral Sea, all the way up into Japan, a lot of earthquake activity still in this area. Not large earthquakes, but between 4.5 and higher, about 5.5, between 4.5 and 5.5 earthquakes continue in the area. So we're taking a look around Japan. It's got a little bit of earthquake activity, probably due to the Sakurajima volcano continuing to go off. Now we got a lot of a lot updates from Alaska with their volcano as well. So we have to keep a close eye in Alaska for the next couple of days. Off the west coast of the United States, not much earthquake activity going on. Still getting some minor earthquakes in the area, and we'll have to keep a close eye on that just to make sure. I uh, just got a 2.1 Baja California, Mexico. Going down into Chile, uh, we're taking a look at some earthquakes. But take a look at this real quick, folks. Some fours, uh, 4.0 earthquakes around Puerto Rico. And uh, we'll have to probably keep an eye on that as well. But Chile is not getting that many earthquakes as they were earlier before. Seems to be quieted down just a bit. So we're going to keep a close eye still around the Ring of Fire. Let's go around to take a look. And uh, right now, Hawaii's been pretty quiet too. So keep a close eye with MHGAlerts.com and I'll continue to keep you updated. I will probably be doing these global earthquake updates, updating you on the Ring of Fire, maybe every other day. So stay tuned for that and I'll probably even have schedules for that. Uh, so that way we'll keep watch on these earthquakes. But this is just within the past three days. Let's take a look at it and go down in the past two weeks. And... Uh, as you see, that's quite a bit of activity, folks, in the past two weeks. Quite a bit. Especially in the area that I want to watch, which is around Indonesia, all the way down from the Coral Sea, all the way up into Japan. A lot of movement here. And that's something we'll have to watch very close, even though these earthquakes are just above a 4.5 and higher. Let's take up the magnitude up to a 5 and it's still you can see and that's up to a 5.0 and higher I'm sorry 4.8 and higher and you see that's still quite a lot of earthquake activity and that's around the ring of fire folks the only thing that's been real quiet lately is the west coast of the United States I have to keep a very close eye on the west coast of the United States again for the next couple of days maybe the next couple of months possibly seeing another earthquake above a 5.0 or higher so again folks stay tuned to MHTAlerts.com Get your alerts at facebook.com slash Mr. Hurricane Tracker. And again, don't forget to keep checking out the site, mhtalerts.com. Right now we're on condition red for space weather. And take a look at that as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. And have a wonderful day.